Hi all, welcome back to my channel. I'm so sorry I've been gone for so long. <laughs> I tried to film as many videos as I could before I left for my vacation. Um, I failed, obviously. I had one more video that I actually had filmed and it was on all my eyeshadow palettes, which I'm gonna have to refilm. But it was blurry because there was spots on my camera because I didn't clean it. I don't even know how the spots get on the camera. It's not like I touch the camera. Whatever, it's okay. I'm gonna redo that video and put that up uh, soon. Hopefully I'll be on my regular schedule starting now. I did get back from my Europe vacation on Monday. I slept all day yesterday, like literally I went to, I, I got up, I did a few things and then I laid down to take a nap around 12.30. I got up at 6.30 this morning. Oops. Um, there was a couple times I'd gotten up in between. I didn't like completely die, but pretty much. Um, but I'm feeling better now. <clears throat> my throat, <clears throat> not so good. You could probably hear it in my voice. Um, it's not so good right now, but that's okay. We're going to work through it. It doesn't hurt or anything, so that's good. I have some protein this morning in my siren, my Starbucks siren cup. And I wanted to do kind of a get ready with me style video telling you all about my European vacation and showing you a few things I picked up while I was in Europe. Um, we started in Rome and when we were in Rome there was a Sephora, a Mac, um, an Inglots, Sephora, Mac, and Inglots, and a Kiko, which is a European makeup brand, like right next to each other. Like it was the Sephora, the Mac, the, the Kikos, and then across the street was Inglots. So I was like, this is heaven, okay. I was, I was, I was in heaven. So I didn't pick up a lot. I picked up a couple of things from the Sephora there, and I picked up a couple of things from Kiko. Um, oh, and this, it's in my hand, so I'll show you. I picked up this from Inglots. Um, Inglots is kind of overwhelming because the thing I like in Inglots the most is their build your own palette. And I just didn't want to sit there and be like, uh, you know, I have to take my time with that. And they have one in Vegas, um, so, you know, not very far from me, so I can just go and do that in Vegas and take all the time I want. Um, not that I was, like, on a time restraint when I was there, but I don't know. I felt overwhelmed. But I did pick this up. It's like a beauty blender. It was purple, and it was 50% off. I was like, okay, I'll get something in Inglots in Rome, right? So I got that. Um... What I got in Sephora was I got these two Zueva palettes. Uh, they're called Voyager palettes. They're mini little tiny palettes. They each have uh, eight shades in them, I believe. No, six shades. I'm sorry, six shades in them. Um, and they're the Voyager palettes. Uh, and they were just like in their little, you did all your shopping, but wait, there's more section, you know. So this is what Spice of Life looks like. And then I also got Cocoa Blend. <clears throat> they have little sleeves on them. And they don't have little mirrors, which you would think they would because they're called Voyager, but and this is what Cocoa Blend looks like. Um, and I've used, I've used both of them already. So I got those at the Sephora in Rome. And then I, I also got a moisturizer, but it's not anything you can get here. It's just the, the Sephora brand moisturizer because my sample like re started running out really quick and I was like okay well I'm only in like day two <laughs> so and then I was there and I saw they had a Barbie collaboration and I was like Barbie when did they get put on a Barbie collaboration I'm pretty I'm pretty up on like the the collabs and like the makeup stuff at Sephora I was like when did they have Barbie um so I looked it up and it was last year, last summer actually, um, they had a Sephora and Barbie collection but only in Europe. And I was like, oh, but they had a few pieces left still in um, the Sephora in Rome I went to. They had this mascara, it's the Sephora, the Sephora Volume on Mascara Super Barbie. And the only reason I got this of course is because it said Barbie. I haven't opened this one yet because I have so many mascaras, but I'll try it. And then they had a bunch of lipsticks. Um, her, I don't know if you can see, but her earrings says Barbie on it. It's so cool. 
Um, but yeah, and her hat says Barbie on it. But they had a lot of the lipsticks. They had, of course, Barbie pink. They had a lot of Barbie pinks. This one is 36 and it's called Mattel, which I thought was cute. And it was more of the, uh, it was more my color. So that's what that looks like. But there were a couple of the Barbie lipsticks and there might have been a palette, I don't know, but these were the two things that I thought I would get the most use out of. And I was like, couldn't it get in the US? So hey, why not, right? Um, I feel like that was it. I think that's all I got out of this, out of this four. I was trying to be a good girl. I was trying to be a good girl. I'm not gonna lie, for, I went a couple of times. The first time I got this one and then the second time I picked up this one because I couldn't stop thinking of it. So they were only 14 euro a piece, these. Um, I think this was eight euro. This was eight or nine euro. Uh, the moisturizer was probably about 15 or 16 euro. So the prices weren't bad. Um, and then in Kiko, uh, and then Kiko, I picked up the Smart Hydrating Foundation. And again, this is a European brand. They used to sell it in the U.S., but then they stopped, I guess. Um, but this is foundation. I've used it once. It's actually really, really nice. I'm going to use it today on camera for you. Um, I'm missing something from Kiko. I don't remember what it was. I know I bought this. I know I bought the foundation and I brought the brush. I might have just bought the brush. Thought I bought a mascara too to try. Uh oh. <laughs> um, but I did buy this blush brush 101, 103, excuse me. I like the purple handle. Um, I just, I needed a blush brush while I was there. So I realized the brushes that I brought wasn't really working for that. So. And I swear I brought, bought a mascara too, but I don't see it. I'll have to go through my things and see what I did with the Kiko mascara. Okay, so those are the things that I got in Europe. So now we're gonna, now I'm gonna show some of them in action. Today I think I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use a Spice of Life palette today. I'm gonna go over what I'm, what I'm using. I'm gonna use that foundation. I'm gonna use this. Um, but pretty much I'm just going to use products that you all have seen me use a million times if you watched my channel before. Okay, so we left last, not last, we left Tuesday the 21st. We left Tuesday the 21st to go to Rome. Um, so we left here at a fairly decent hour, thankfully. We were able to get a pretty decent flight. <clears throat> but we, oh my gosh, we flew from... Las Vegas, to Salt Lake City, to Paris, to Rome. <laughs> oh, it was, it was, it was a lot of stops. I didn't mind it though, I really didn't. Um, Salt Lake City, we were kind of running through the airport because our connection was so quick and we were a little bit late, but they were waiting for us. They were like, yeah, we know. You were connecting from another Delta flight, so we knew you were coming. And we were like, yay, that's awesome, thanks. Um, oh, okay, I guess I will show you what I'm doing here. So I <clears throat> I used a Nuisance here, and now I'm using this one here, which is called Shared Joy. Oh, because you haven't seen this yet. So. Um, so yeah, so they were like, yeah, we knew you were coming. We, we, you know, we got your seats all ready for you and everything. The flight was not eventful. I watched a couple of, you know, in-flight entertainment. Um, then when we got to Paris, oh my gosh, had to take a shuttle from the airplane to the terminal. Then we were sitting there and it was so hot and humid in Paris, but I had macaroons in Paris. That's right, I might have just been at the freaking airport. I don't care. I had macaroons in Paris, as you do. Um, so I did that and then uh, we realized our gate had changed as they were boarding and we were like, oh crap. Luckily, it wasn't that far, so. Then we uh, got to Rome, and everything kind of worked like clockwork, which I loved. I had arranged for transportation from our hotel to pick us up, and he was there, and he was nice, and he spoke a little bit of English. It, was, it wasn't great English, but it was, it was enough English where he could start telling us, like, as we were passing important areas of Rome. Um, and... We had a conversation about like gas prices because you know we're Americans and we like to talk about gas prices I don't know <laughs> um our hotel was awesome we stayed in the something called the Trident Suites and it's in it is in um the uh 
I'm gonna mess this up. De Popolo? De Popolo Square? De Popolo... I'm gonna pop it up here. Um, but it, it was, it was great. It was within walking distance of the Trident Fountain and the Spanish Steps. Um, and probably the Colosseum. We tried to go to the Colosseum second day, but we were just... It, we we died instead. So we never got to the Colosseum, sadly. Sadly. Um, but we did go to the Vatican, um, which was awesome. The Vatican was amazing. The city itself, the drive there, the buildings, the actual Vatican was just like... It's the Vatican, right? <laughs> I'm not Catholic, but it was the Vatican. I was in awe. Um, we went into the, we were we we had a a jump the line for the Vatican museums at eleven, and we were there like super duper early. We actually got there like at we got there at like eight thirty nine o'clock after seeing the Spanish Steps. Um, we got up really early because we had crashed early the night before. Uh, we went and saw the Spanish Steps and then we took a horse-drawn carriage, which was also cool, over to the Vatican and we were there super early so we were just kind of asking around a few things and um, they were like, well get in line and you should get into the Basilica, St. Peter's Basilica, pretty quickly. Because it's really early in the morning and there's nobody here yet. Well, there was. There was definitely a line, but you know. Um, but, so we did that, and oh my, oh my gosh, if you ever have the opportunity to go to St. Peter's Basilica, the Vatican, Rome in general, do it. Even if you're, even if you're not religious, it was astounding. That building was amazing. Everything in it was amazing. Um, I am a, I, I'm a Christian, so it was overwhelming to see some of that stuff, but it was just like, just everything was beautiful. Oh, uh, um, surprises of, this is called surprises of life, this one here, I'm going to put that in my crease, um, yeah, I, I was in awe, and then it was funny because we were, wa we were walking around, we were taking pictures, we were looking at everything, and, um, and all of a sudden I noticed that people were, were disappearing behind a statue, and I was like, I want to be in Europe and disappear, disappear behind a statue. That's like, that's awesome. <laughs> I played too much Assassin's Creed. Um, and uh, I was like, why are they disappearing behind this statue? So we went over to it and we realized they were going down these stairs uh, uh, to the tombs of the popes. Um, they had, they had a, uh, to the tombs of the popes. So we went down the stairs and we saw the tombs of all the previous popes and also a few people were down there that were uh, a few a two, few tombs were down there of people who took asylum in Rome and with the Catholic Church um, after being exiled from their their country. Some of them were royalty. Um, so that was that was pretty awesome. So then we had to leave the basilica and go because it was time for us to go and. Um, it's time for us to go to the museums. The museums were cool. Um, it's a museum. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong. It's a lot of religious artifacts. It's a lot of cultural artifacts. It was very, very, very interesting to see because that's why I went to Europe was to see history. Um, I really, really, really wanted to see the Sistine Chapel because that's where the Sistine Chapel is. And so they kept having these signs pointing to where the Sistine Chapel was, and we're like, okay, so you gotta you gotta go through the museum to go to the Sistine Chapel. Two and a half hours. <laughs> don't get me wrong. Again, don't get me wrong. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. But there were so many people. It was so much walking. And after a while, it was just like, oh my gosh, where is this thing? You know, it's like, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? And finally, finally. You, you follow these signs and it, it's like, okay, we're not there yet, we're not there yet, we're not there yet. Finally you get there and it's, I mean, it's beautiful. It's, it's beautiful. It is everything that you would think that it would be. 
Um, there, but there are guards in there, and you're not allowed to talk. Which I found kind of ironic, because they were like, be quiet, like really loudly to people who were talking. So they were talking, and they were talking loudly. <laughs> and you were not allowed to take pictures. I did sneak one picture. I'll insert it. Hopefully I don't get arrested. Um, and they were like, no pictures. So I was like, sorry. But I did... I did get one picture, so there you go. Um, I'm going to take the flavor right here and just put it on my uh, lid. So I was like, okay, I'm sorry, people. Uh, I'm just going to put this on the lid and then I'll... But yeah, I got one picture of the, uh, the Sistine Chapel. And then we went and had pizza in a cafeteria. In Rome. <laughs> no, the Vatican. The Vatican. Va Vatican. No, I'm sorry. We were we were in Rome. That's right. The Vatican has its own city, but the museum isn't actually in the Vatican. It, it's in Rome. Um, we were in Vatican. Where is it? No, I think it's outside the walls. Somebody will correct me, I'm sure. I'm sure somebody knows. I can also look it up. Um, but that was... That was a great day. That was a great, great day. So we saw the Spanish Steps that day. We saw the Vatican that day. And then we were going to go try to do the Coliseum. <sighs> it was like a four or five hour ordeal. Ordeal. That's not the right word. A four or five hour thing. And so we just, we were like, nah, nah, we're good. Okay, um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on my Tatcha. And then use my Kiko foundation, which might be too light for me. My gosh, I got so much sun. So then after we went to, um, so we, we, that was on a Friday and then Saturday. So we got there on technically Wednesday, Wednesday night. We just kind of crashed a little bit and had dinner and crashed. And then Thursday, like I said, we we're supposed to go to the Coliseum, it didn't work out. We ended up shopping a lot that day. Um, and then I did a lot of shopping on on Friday too. After we went back to the hotel and had a nap and everything. Um, sorry, I'm looking at my watch. I'm waiting for I'm waiting for a delivery. <laughs> Not for anything fun, just a delivery. And Saturday we had to get up and we were going on a cruise. So Saturday was time to get on the cruise. So I got up, we got up on Saturday, we found a cab driver, we went there. Again, everything worked out so nicely, like so nicely. We got there, we got on, we got to the cruise ship. Um, and I'm gonna use this to blend it out. So we got there, we got on the cruise ship, and it was like, there was nobody at the terminal yet. So we literally got right on, and we got right into our room, which props to Princess, cause uh, I kept warning my dad. I was like, cause I worked for Princess Cruises for a while. And I was like, don't, don't be, you know, don't get upset if we're, if we have to, we have to wait around to get on the ship or if we have to or if we're able to get on the ship we have to wait for a room and you know they're gonna have our luggage so they'll just take it straight up and no we literally got there there was nobody in line for security well there was a few people because obviously we took a Monte code show there was a few people so they we went and we got through security really fast we got through check-in really fast we went in, they, our room was ready. We didn't have our luggage yet, but that was okay because we didn't need anything out of it. I made sure that anything that we would possibly need was in um, these two backpacks we had. And look how pretty that coverage is. Like, look how gorgeous. It's definitely a medium kind of bridge. I love the way this looks on my skin. Which figures, because it's a freaking European brand. Anyway, you wish to watch you. Anyway, so yeah. Props to Princess on that. The cruise was awesome, as I knew it would be. Like I said, I worked for Princess for five years. I have zero complaints about Princess Cruises. I think Princess Cruises is awesome. Um, I think that they're a great company to work for. I think they're a great company just in general. Um, I really was impressed with everything about Princess. Um, 
our cruise was fun. We went to, our first stop was awesome. Our first stop was probably my, probably my favorite place, honestly. No, my, I, I don't know that I have favorites actually, but it was definitely, definitely up there and it was definitely an experience I will never ever forget. We went to uh, Salerno in Rome and um, from there I took a tour to Mount Vesuvius. Mount Vesuvius is where the volcano is that erupted and uh, was the cause of the Pompeii disaster. Pompeii tragedy? Pompeii, I don't know what we were gonna call what we're gonna call it, but it was responsible for what happened to Pompeii. And um that was just bare minerals. I don't know that I've shown this on my channel, but I bought bare minerals and brought that with me. I liked it. And uh so we went up to Mount Vesuvius and it was pouring rain. Pouring rain. Like oh my gosh, it was pouring rain. <laughs> the rain was very, very cold and especially in the higher you got up it was very very wet but i still did my best i didn't get all the way to the top um but i got i got to the the i don't know if you've ever been to mount Vesuvius, um you probably know what i'm talking about but if you don't so we parked at the bottom and they said it was a 20 minute hike up to where the crater is so it's not really a crater where, well, where the crater is, yeah, I guess it's a, it's a crater from where the mountain exploded. Um, so there's a couple of viewpoints from it. So there is one viewpoint and then a z another z viewpoint up like here. And then you could go all the way around and see the very top um, and see everything from there. I got to the second point and then I was done. <laughs> I was like, I'm done. The climb was harder for me than I th thought it was. I thought I was in better shape than that, but apparently not. But I still made it. I still made it up, okay? So props to me for that, honestly. It was it was not it was not an easy climb. It was not easy at all. Um <clears throat> so if you're ever thinking about climbing Mount Vesuvius, just know it's 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 not an easy climb. Um it's pretty steep. Looking for my wet and wild power. Then, you know, when you go to see Mount Vesuvius, what's next? You go see Pompeii. I, oh my gosh, it was amazing. It was like amazing. This city that is so. It was so much tragedy that happened there, but it was also just amazing to see how well they did things. I mean, it, it, you know, this was, this is the, there, I, apparently there's two really well-preserved ancient Roman cities. I only ever heard of Pompeii. I'll have to, I'll have to put up the name of the other one. Um, that one was covered in, one was covered in mud and one was covered in ash. And I believe that Pompeii was the one that was covered in ash. The other one was covered in mud. Maybe it was the other way around. Um, but they were so well preserved. And it's amazing to see how they did things. How they solved problems that you look at and you're like, that is genius. They didn't have electricity. They didn't have running water. They didn't have all the modern things that we had today. And yet, that wasn't an issue. I mean you you look at the way this place was set up and like okay I'll give you they, they saved rainwater so that they could make um so they saved rainwater so that they could you know use it they were able to make baths hot by making a fire and putting water under it and they had their baths right there um and they kept that going and you know they had steam the room they they had like the steam going so that they make the baths hot which was genius. Um, they they had gates that opened and closed. They were able to make the grooves that opened and closed the gates. Um, my my favorite my favorite thing that I saw there was uh, they had in order to light the way of the paths because it was dark. They didn't have lights. 
they made the stone pass, then they would put marble in it. The marble would hit the, the, the moonlight would hit the marble and light up the bath. I was like, that's freaking genius. They were just, they were so smart and inventive and just, uh, I was so impressed by that. I really was. Sorry, I'm rambling, rambling. Um, yeah, I'm not even, I'm not even halfway through my trip and yeah. <laughs> I'm rambling. Uh, but yeah, I was, oh, that was, that was genius. I was so impressed by that. You can't, you can't even imagine how, but yeah, I was so impressed by that. I was, I, I couldn't even imagine half of the things that they came up with. They were so smart. I had answered the door for my package and I'm just noticing I'm peeling up here. <laughs> I got a lot of sun, a lot of sun in, in Europe. Um, yes, so my, um, or, I'm sorry, Pompeii, oh my gosh, I was in awe of Pompeii, I was legitimately in awe, I, you, ugh, I loved it, um, then, I'm trying to think of, like, the itinerary, oh, we went to, I'm gonna mess this up, and I apologize if I offend anybody, or if anybody wants to tell me how I'm, if I'm pronouncing it correctly, um, we went to uh, Couture, Couture, Montenegro, maybe. I don't know. Um, and I was, I really didn't know much about Couture. I knew it was an island, and everything I read was like it's a fairy tale island. Um, I was like a fairy tale island. That's interesting. It was, it was, it was beautiful. It was, it was just. We went to this. We didn't get very far into town. <laughs> there was a fort, like an old fork to a, uh, an old fort, I guess. And they turned it into this little area of shops. And it was, they called it like a labyrinth of shops. And that's exactly what it was. And that is what I, that's what I pictured an, a, a European city to be. Is just the small little shops on the, on the little on the little roads with the cobblestone streets and that's exactly what it was and it was inside a fort and just everything about it was magical and they were so nice there and there was a lot of like homemade goods and I bought a lot of, I bought a lot in Couture like Couture was where I spent the majority of my money um outside of Greece I shouldn't say that because Greece was like the majority of my trip, but that I, I spent a lot of money at Couture. Um, that I loved it there. Uh, if you ever get the chance to go and you're like, what the heck is Couture Montenegro? It's it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. It's I recommend it Im immensely. I, di I didn't get to see a lot of it. I would love to go back, but um, just to see more of this little island, the people were just so friendly and everything. Then we went to Corfu, um, Crete, in Crete, and we went and saw something called the Com Comquat uh, Distillery. So they have this fruit there called the Comquat. I'm just, I'm just using my my Buxom Seychelles blush, and apparently putting too much on, but that's okay. Um, so we we went to Corf Corfu. And that was just a little place in Crete, which is the biggest island. And I'm sad. No, no, no. No, I'm sorry. That wasn't Crete. Corfu was its own island. Corfu wasn't Crete. Crete was the next day. Crete was the next day. We went to something called Hanaya or Shania or Shania or something in Crete. Uh, but we went to Corfu. There we go. I, I, I think it's just the island of Corfu. And we went to the Comcot Distillery, which was okay. But um, then we went up. My dad is unfortunately scared of heights, and he went on with me, and we didn't realize we were going to go up really, really high. Yeah, he didn't like that. Um, but, it, I, I mean, the views were gorgeous. Uh, the, the tour was okay. It wasn't, wasn't my favorite tour, but I really liked that island. The next day we were in Crete. And I really, 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 really wanted to go to the castle or the palace um, where it was built over the labyrinth for the Minotaur, Minotaur. but um, 
it was like 170 bucks per person so uh we didn't do that we just kind of walked around uh crete hanaya shania something like that um that place was gorgeous too that was a bunch of little shops on a on a cobblestone street too but there was a lot it was also a big city as well a lot of it um but that was that place was awesome i loved i loved the history and that again that's where the labyrinth was for the minotaur um crete is the biggest island in greece so obviously i didn't even get to see a quarter of it but i, I liked it there it was it was really nice um no i'm sorry that was the that was, it wasn't the cobblestone streets in in Shania or Hanaya or whatever it's called, um, there was like a monastery, like a church almost building with a bunch of with a bunch of shopping. And again, those people were super nice and everything was great in there. And I bought a dress. <laughs> I bought if I ever get married, it's purple, I don't care. But if I ever get married, I'm going to be wearing that dress. Um, and I'll probably be wearing it on a random Friday, Friday afternoon too. It's just it's it's the Greek style dress and it has the the collar in gold and oh my oh. I should have got a shorter one I should have got a shorter one and a lighter color so that I could just kind of wear it throughout but that dress is to die for oh I got this I don't know if you can see it as the tree of life I got this at the Vatican um, Museum's gift shop by the way just thought I'd throw that out there our last island stop was Mykonos that's right, people. Mykonos, Greece. Oh my gosh. You thought I was excited about Pompeii. Um, I walked that 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 really did have like the cobblestone streets and it's um there's two there's two places in Greece that are the whitewashed walls with the blue tops. There's Santorini and then there's Mykonos. Mykonos, excuse me, Mykonos. And I was in Mykonos. And it did. It had the whitewashed walls and the blue like the blue um roofs and the blue shutters and some and, and from what i found out the houses are required if you build there just to kind of keep the aesthetic of the island required to be painted white and your it's required to be painted white and then your shutters and your door can really be whatever color you want it to be but a lot of people keep them blue to keep up the aesthetics and then there's a lot of red as well but then as i was i walked i walked the streets i wanted to go to delos which is the island adjacent to it that had was where apollo and artemis were born uh the gods oh, apollo and artemis the twins um but it just wasn't going to work out for me because i had a tour later in the day so I went shopping in the little streets, had falafel. Americans don't know what the hell falafel is, by the way. I've never had falafel like this. It was it was delicious. And yes, I ate falafel. Sue me. Um, I love it. I think it's great. Um, but, oh my gosh. Uh, so anyway, yeah. So they can paint it whatever color they want. And I saw green and I saw turquoise they they kind of kept it in the blue family unless they went completely opposite and went the red but for the most part they kept it blue or turquoise or green somewhere in there in that 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 color scheme only one place i saw was purple and i was like that'd be me i'd be the purple person <laughs> i'd be the person with the purple house um just the doors and the shutters were you know but oh the beaches were gorgeous the whole place was magical. The whole place was magical. I don't think I care about eyeliner today, by the way. This is going to be a very long video. Sorry. Not sorry. Uh, I don't think I care about eyeliner today, though. Um, let's see. I'm going to go back into the Spice of Life and just take uh, Surprise of Life, this color here, and run it under my lash line. But, oh my gosh, Mykonos was just the place. I loved Mykonos. I loved it. And, like I said, I went on a tour where I got to see pretty much the whole island. So I went and I did the, the shopping, and I saw the windmills, and um, I saw some of the beaches up close, and then I went on a tour bus 
where I saw pretty much the entire island. And when I'm rich, because God knows you gotta be rich, you gotta have at least a million dollars, if not a billion dollars. No, at least a million, I think he said. To get the property, build the house, things like that. Um, you have to buy so much land if you're gonna go because there's so little land out there that if, if you plan on buying a house out there, you have to buy a certain amount of land and, and you know, I don't, I don't blame them. Um, so, but yeah, when I'm rich, I'm moving to Mickey House, just so you know. It's never gonna happen, but. But I'm moving to Mickey House if I'm rich, just so you know. Uh, in case you ever wanna find me, if you ever find out I win the lottery, you'd be like, oh, she'll be in Mickey House. Um, yeah. And then we went to Athens, and so then after Mykonos was Athens, and I am grateful that I was able to do a disembarkation tour where I got to go, again, my dad, he went, he went straight to the hotel because he doesn't like heights, but I got to go see the Acropolis. The Acropolis um, was spectacular. There was a gorgeous musician who was playing Hotel California on a guitar that I need to go back and like be like, hi, you want to go to America? Or can I live with you here in Greece when you're a street musician and probably don't have a lot of money and I don't care? <laughs> um, but yes, yeah, so <laughs> that was that was just, oh, he was so cute. Um, but the Acropolis, oh my gosh, the Acropolis was amazing. The views from the Acropolis were amazing. Just the Acropolis was, just, it was crowded with people, unfortunately. I think it's always crowded with people, but I was, I was, I was in awe. I was in awe of the Acropolis. I was in awe of all of it. Um, I'm gonna curl my eyelashes and put on my mascara and then I'll continue chattering. But yeah, so, um, okay, so there, there's that. So then I, yeah, so I went to the Acropolis, which was awesome. Like I said, just, just the history of walking where the ancient Greeks walked and where the ancient Greeks had their, had all their religious and political and it was just amazing to walk history. Um, that's what I, like I said, that's what I went to, to Europe for. We, we, we're a young country, let's face it, here in America. We're a young, we're a young country. And we have history, but I'm on the West Coast, so, uh, you know. <laughs> but it was just amazing to walk that history. Plus, I love Greek mythology. I love Greek mythology, so just anything to do with Greek mythology, I was, I was just in, I was just in awe of all of it. Then the next day, so that was, we, we docked on Saturday. I saw the Acropolis on Saturday. Sunday, my dad and I went into Athens to kind of just explore and we watched the changing of the guards, um, which is at the, at the Museum of the Fallen, or I'm sorry, at the Tomb of the Fallen Soldier, which was, which was cool. Um, again, too many, too many tourists, but uh, we were able to watch that. Uh, we went to Zeus's temple, which was, again, Greek mythology and history all in one was just like, ah, it was so cool. It was so cool to see Zeus's temple. Just, I was just like in awe of it. Um, then we walked, and then again, we just kind of walked the streets and, and engaged with the Athenian, uh, Athenians, is that what they're called? Athenians, the, Athe the people of Athens and... Uh, we looked at the shops and we were able to walk where he could see the Acropolis, even though we didn't go up to the Acropolis again, where you can pretty much see it everywhere at, at a certain point, as long as the buildings aren't blocking it because it's huge. Um, so, he, he, you know, he got to see the Acropolis from the ground. Um, there was there was places where they had expeditions under the ground because the city was built on top of the ancient city. So there was places where you could see where they dug... Um, where they were like expedi expediting, hmm. where they were, you know, doing an expedition on what was underneath the, which was awesome too. So, and then we left on Monday, and you know, airplane airports. Yeah. This is that Mattel Barbie lipstick. Definitely my color. I'm not sure it goes with this warm look, but I wanted to show it to you. But yeah, so then we went home on Monday, and luckily we didn't have to stop twice. We uh, stopped once in JFK. Um, so once in JFK, so I can say that I've been to New York, 
kind of like I can say I've been been to Paris, you know. Um, but stopped in New York for three and a half hours. Actually, a little bit longer because our flight got there super early. Uh, a lot of people, I, I I'm like on the Delta Facebook page, and there was nothing but complaints, and I was like, ooh, yeah, no, Delta was awesome too. Princess and Delta really made our trips really trip really well. Um, we got there like early, like probably half an hour early to JFK, and then we got to our final destination in Las Vegas an hour early. <laughs> I was like, okay, I, you always hear about the complaints, you always hear about the delays. We got there super early, and that was nice. We were able to drive home on Monday night, so. And then, like I said, it crashed on Tuesday, so. But uh, I hope you like this long and rambly video. <laughs> uh, hopefully um, put up some pictures of my trip. If you want more pictures of my trip, you can go to my Instagram page. It's K and J Scorpio. I'll link it down below and you can see more pictures of my trip. But yeah, uh, I, like I said, hopefully we'll have more regular videos up. I got a couple of Sephora orders that I want to show you. I want to read you my, um, my palette collection. If there's any other kind of collection you want to see, you know, my, I'm not a lip girl, but now I have a massive lip collection collection. Oh, that happened. Um, my, you know, foundation concealer collection, my bronzer highlighter collection, just anything like that, just let me know. Leave it down below. We'll get to it. Yeah, but that's it. Thank you so much for watching as always. Thank you so much for your patience. Um, hopefully you'll like this video, subscribe if you haven't, and hit that notification button. I'll see you in my next one.